Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your iPhone running iOS 8 as an Apple TV remote. Let's get started. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and ensure everything is set up correctly. So you wanna ensure you have your Apple TV connected and you wanna make sure that your firmware is updated to the latest firmware. It probably will work if you're not updated, but it's always a good practice to go through the settings and update your Apple TV when possible. Secondly, you wanna go ahead and open up the App Store on your iPhone and you wanna download the app called Remote. Now you'll notice it has a blue circle with a white play button Button. that'll ensure that it's the right application it's a free application and it's going to allow us to control our Apple TV with our iPhone so go ahead and download that so once the app has completed loading what you want to do is turn on your Apple TV and open the settings application from here we want to select general then we want to go down to where it says remotes from here we want to select remote app and it'll give you a quick rundown of what it's going to do. Control your Apple TV with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch using the remote app. So we'll go ahead and select OK. Then from here, you want to scroll down to your specific iOS device. So for me, it's the iPhone 6. So I'm going to select that one. Now you're going to be asked to put in a password. Now this password will appear on your iPhone. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but you can see I have 65. 64 as my password so I'm going to enter that in and then we'll select done. Next we need to set up home sharing so we're going to open up the settings application and then we're going to go down to where it says computers and from here we're going to click on turn on home sharing and then we're going to select yes because you want to use this with your Apple ID. Now if you haven't set up an Apple ID yet you're going to need to do that first and if you want to use a different Apple ID for this remote, you can go ahead and select no, use a different Apple ID. But for this example, we'll just hit yes. Go ahead and enter in your password, hit submit, then click OK. Next, we're gonna go ahead and open up the remote app on our iOS device, and it should look like this. We're gonna tap on settings up top, and we're gonna enable home sharing. Next, you wanna just enter in your Apple ID and the password, tap OK. And once it's verified, go ahead and tap OK up top, and now you'll see that your Apple TV is also available to be used as a remote. So let me go ahead and show you guys a quick example. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is tap Apple TV here to activate it connected to our Apple TV, and now you'll get a screen like this. And this is going to act as a touchpad, so you can scroll down, and you can see in the background the Apple TV is scrolling down. Now to click and open up anything, so if you wanted to open up video movies, you would just tap, and then it would begin and open up that application and you can see in the background it's accessing Vimeo very blurry but it is doing so and just like usual if you particularly want to watch something you can go ahead and hit play and it should begin playing that movie we'll just go back to our menu here just so we don't get copyright issues and that's the same deal same thing we've got menu at the bottom tap that it'll take you back to your home screen there's a little question mark here giving you tips so if you guys need any more help you can get that help there if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment box down below and if you guys are feeling awesome hit that like button share the video with your friends and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one